Hello! I'm so excited for this video because months ago, I saw someone, I saw, um, I'm, I was scrolling through Pinterest and then I saw like this like poncho, but it's like a type of jellyfish type of, type of vibe, jellyfish poncho. And I was like, I had to make it. It was so pretty. Um, so today I will be making, um, a crochet jellyfish poncho. I will be using this kind of yarn and I have a whole bunch of yarn and I'm trying to like clear up my stash because i have a lot of yarn if you have not seen my um whining yarn whining video go check it out but i'll be using this this is like one of the yarns i'll be using because i will be using a lot of yarn to make this i will be using this yarn some black and also white and then i also have these yarn i'll be using to add out that like red that not red that purple and that green to make it look more cohesive and everything and yeah and I'm just like so excited to start this because I have been wanting this for like months and so I'm so happy to start this and so yeah let's get right into the video all right so I'll be using a size I'll be using a size four 4.25 to do this i normally because normally on the label it tells you what like size hook you want but i just use whatever i feel like i want to use or like i like better for the project so that was what i was be using today and i'm trying to figure out because i'm just i'm trying to fit the colors because as you can see the colors the colors are right here and so i'm trying to figure out the pattern for it because first I want because I want to do like a I'm gonna do like a like a little design for the back which is gonna be like a circle so now I'm trying to figure out how to start the color pattern like where I want the colors at and everything and yeah I might because I'm gonna crochet a hood too with it and I want the hood to be black and I don't know what I want a circle to be do I want it to be different color? Cause like I want the majority of the poncho to be this color, and then these these old colors as like elements make it look more um, cool looking and everything. So I'm having a problem with trying to figure out. I'm having a hard time trying to figure out what color to start with first. <laughs> I'm debating about. I might be black. I think I want to, yeah, I think I'm gonna start with black. And then, yeah. Okay, so I'm on the third row now. And so I started doing the green part, which is looking really good. I'm basically just freehanding this. I'm just using my um, knowledge <laughs> that I have into making it circle and everything. a little update so i just got done eating and i've been because i started this around like 12 o'clock and it's now like six and this is how much i got done <laughs> i was like restart i like it took me a good bit especially for this because i'm basically freehand this i am just going with the flow and like choosing random stitches to like see what i like and also try to make it like keep the perfect circle and it looks so good 
and I'm now working on this mink. I'm gonna use because this is the back design, and so I want to do a little little design with all the colors. And so now I'm going to start crocheting, mainly using this yarn, until it's big enough to cover my back, and then when it gets to the hood part, I'm gonna like chain. So. Which is almost there because I keep putting it on my chest and it's like probably there. So I have a few more rows to go before I can um start chaining for the um neck hole. But so far it looks so good. Look at this. These colors are like so pretty together. <laughs> The circle where it reached all the way into like my neck so now it's time for me to work on the um hood which earlier I said that I was like gonna do black which I don't know I wanted to do that anymore I'm liking the progress it looks like an eye <laughs> it looks like an eye doesn't it not like just the middle part no it looks like one big eye so pretty. Oh, did it? It's so pretty. Oh, I have good yarn choices. Because this right here is freehand baby. Just dishes I learned from years of crochet and just in my knowledge to make these. Take a lot of practice. basically I measure my neck see how much comfortable I want it and I end up skipping 42 stitches and then when I when I went around I chained 42 and connected it so that's how that happened and it's still like a per it's still a perfect circle just missing the hole in the middle and like oh my god that looks so good that looks so good. It's like giving me witchy vibes, which I love witchy vibes, especially when it comes to like clothing. I think I want to start like work, like dress, cause I dress, I dress witchy witchy, but I want to like start having witchy elements. And this right here would be a great element. And I'm debating, I'm very debating about adding some sleeves. I think I want to add some sleeves. Yeah, I made I made up my mind. I made up my mind. I'm gonna add some sleeves. Oh, also time check. It's 10:42, so I I'm not exhausted. I'm not exhausted really. My back hurts. That's pretty much it. Uh, but my back always hurts. So not new. And yeah, so I'm still like wide awake. I still got energy in me. So I'm just gonna keep doing this, and you know, I have st I still got a long way to go. So guys, it's the next day. Don't judge me. I'm still in my PJs. Okay. So good. I'm now gonna like. I'm, I'm trying to make sure it's good so i can do the armhole which i think this is yeah put this over here right here yeah oh i'm liking this i'm gonna like keep doing this and then eventually i'm gonna use a diamond stitch for the rest of the majority of the body and then do a little fun little um thing at the end of it so it, like have a jellyfish vibes to it uh i'm so like it's looking very good Oof. 
I just can't really wear this out. It's so good. See, look at that. Ah. But yeah, that's a little update. Um, so. Yeah. I'm just gonna stay home all day. In the PJs. Because I can. Maybe one day I will make a uh, tutorial. I want to have a little chat with y'all because I have so much of this yarn left. I'm like, I have, I, my auntie bought me some yarn a while back and she got me eight balls of this yarn. So far I'm on the second ball of yarn. And so I'm trying to use up my, my yarn stash and I was just like, what else can I make with using this yarn? I was debating about maybe I should like make some pants. I don't know what I should make. But I have a lot of yarn, so of this, so I could pretty much do a lot of stuff. I think some pants or some shorts, actually. I don't know. I should just make. I, I should like try to see how many more um, pieces of stuff can I make out of this clothing of out of this yarn. I can. I wonder if I could try to make that a challenge of trying to see how much yarn. Not yarn see how much stuff I can make out of this yarn. That'd be like a cool little challenge to do. I need to show y'all the label in case y'all want this one. But I don't know if they still make this type because my auntie, she got it from like this type of, she got it from Ollie's. If you don't know what Ollie is, it's like this type of like second hand type of store where you get stuff lower, like lower prices. And so, she, she saw that they had like a whole bunch of yarn and the yarn, a lot of yarn was like um, lower prices. So she got me a whole bunch of yarn, which I was like awesome about it. Cause I was like more yarn and like, and they're like a lot of good yarn, like, and they're cheaper. I was like, um, yes, I would gladly take that. So I was very happy when I um, saw that. One thing about me is I do not like spending my money. I like, I don't like spending money at all. I really don't. But when it comes to like my hobbies and my crafts, I do spurge or spend money on that. That's like, all my money goes towards crafts. Like I literally, the majority, like all my money. I don't spend money on nothing else really. I really don't. <laughs> I, yeah, all my money goes towards my hobbies and stuff, which nothing wrong with that. Because I'm all, because I also, consumerism, I'm like not about that. I really like, I don't need stuff. I have everything I need. I just, I have everything I need. I don't want to like buy stuff I don't need. I need y'all to answer this. Like, when you, like, if you like crochet or you do something or you do a whole bunch of hobbies or a whole bunch of crafts. Does it like stop make you want to buy stuff? Like I don't want to buy nothing else because in my head I'm like I'm gonna make it. I'm just gonna make it, which I do eventually or stuff. Like in my head I'm like any type of craft I'm just gonna make it. I'm not gonna buy nothing. Or if I do buy something I want to buy for someone from a um an artist. Like I want to I want to buy it from like these big companies and all this stuff that made it for cheap and it's not even really cool or unique. I want it to be like specialized to myself that's why i like one thing i love about crocheting is that i can customize it to myself and like it's one of a kind and you can choose all the colors and all the placements and everything and i just love that about all my hobbies like because i could just personalize myself especially like when it comes to like my room i like majority of myself right now in my room i made which i'm like i could be like yeah i made that and i'm like so happy for that and so it just and just I don't know I just like it because it's more personalized to myself. So that's why I feel like if you don't have hobby, you should get a hobby. Like get some hobbies because then the need of wanting to like buy stuff like goes away. From my experience, like it just I don't have the need to buy stuff no more. Like I really don't. I'm just gonna I, unless of course it's the, the supplies, but. I'm going to eventually use it. That's why I don't want to buy like so much yarn that like I have like a wall of yarn. I want to um, have just a stash of yarn. If, if I need to go buy more yarn, I would just get a few. And eventually I know I will use that yarn up 
even if it takes me years like this purple yarn it, even if it takes me years to use it i will eventually use it so because i my yarn stash have gone down since last year like ever since last year i was like okay i need to use up my yarn stash because i have a lot of yarn and not a lot of space because i literally um my little my my room is literally my craft room too i have so much like i have a whole section of crafts like even up of my um closet i have i have a whole, I crafts everywhere okay Let's just say that I have a lot of crafts and that's why, cause I can't wait to get my own place it's mainly so I can have a craft room. Um, so that's like my goal is to have a craft. Oh, I messed up. I've been crocheting for like how many years now? I don't know how many years I've been crocheting since I was like 12 or 13. I'm now 20. So that's like seven, eight years on my belt. I'm constantly learning. trying to figure out what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna increase a little bit more and then i'm gonna start making the hood part which i wanted to be more um bigger and looser instead of like right in my head literally um one o'clock in the morning so sleep no sleep because i know i'm literally almost there i'm literally almost there um so yeah i'm going to stay up and work on this it's gonna take me like two or three hours i think i think i hope it doesn't i want it i want it. i wish i can say oh it's gonna take an hour it's not it's not gonna take an hour i want it to take an hour but it's not gonna take an hour so i'm stuck but it looks pretty already i mean a part of me wants to keep like this but I want the hood, I want the hood, I want the hood. Like I like this, but also I want the hood. So yeah, probably one day I'll make one that's like not. Cause like, what's this? It's so pretty. <laughs> it's giving me like witchy vibes. Like I'm a witch, like, ah, uh, like I can cast a spell on you, like. So, next y'all, not, next time. I don't know, I'm delirious. poncho <laughs> it's so pretty i do have one little remark to add is that the hood okay. the hood is i don't know if it's like too oversized or like 
a good oversize. Like, I like it. Like, I don't know. But I feel like it's a little too oversized, but I kind of like it. Uh, one day I might undo it and redo it a little bit, just take off a few. But I thought now, I love it. Um, so it's like giving me, you know, witchy, mystical vibes elements, which I love. Um, so I'm like totally fine with it. Like, I like the fact that I did this, the two colors. I don't know. I'm just in love with this. Like, this is like one of my favorite pieces I have made up to date as of right now. And that's saying a lot because I have a few pieces that I love, okay? <laughs> As of right now, this is like probably top of my clothing list type of vibes that I love because I have I make I make a lot of things. Okay, yeah, yeah, I have a lot of things I made. Um, so yeah, this is like probably my favorite one um right now, and I'm so in love with it. It is so pretty and like I all my favorite colors. Even the sleeves are my favorite one. It's plain, but it like is a perfect balance because this is all like more like all the holes and all this stuff. And so having the sleeves being balanced. Which is nothing, it's just straight, and it's just so pretty. Look at the, <laughs> it's just so pretty, and I'm in love with it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I did do a little something different with the video type of style. I did a lot more talking. Um, but let me know what do you like more. I don't know which one I like more. I'm like in between. Um, so like, if you want me to like talk more or like what it is or everything i want to write a pattern for this but the thing is i do not know how to write a pattern like i do not know i know how to write a pattern for i can read and understand it because i did it but to make it like so professional and like have other people like actually make something out of it it's like hard but i eventually one day want to start making patterns because like that's like one of my favorite things i want to that's one thing i want to do is make patterns so sorry i don't have a pattern for this um, but basically just freehand it and just do whatever stitches you like, literally. I just did random stitches and make sure it was like a help the circle vibes. And thanks so much for watching till the end. Um, if you haven't, please subscribe. I'm trying to reach 300 subscribers by like December the 14th. And please, it's Black History Month. So like, why would you not want to subscribe to me? You know black creator please so especially for the month of february like black history month like you kind of have to subscribe you're obligated to subscribe i don't make the rules um it just happened i don't make the rules so but i'll see you guys next time bye